Welcome, we've seen in other tutorials how you can log in and sign up with all of. In this tutorial, we're going to enable logging in and signing up with social accounts. Um, the package all of uh, describes exactly how that should be done. So let's head over there. There is a number of providers. There's lots of providers actually that you can connect. And the way it has to be done per, per provider is described for every provider. So we're going to connect with Google and later also with LinkedIn. And here it des this describes how you could do that. Uh, it is a little bit complicated with Google. Um, I've done that here. I won't detail out all the steps, but I'll just briefly go over it. First thing you need to do is you need to register your domain with Google because the Google has to know that the domain is actually yours. And for that, you have to go to this link. The link is in the written tutorial. You have to enter the URL of the property and then Google will, um, well, let's do an example here. Google will ask you to go to your provider and um, either enter a record there or have some other way of verification so that Google knows that this domain is actually yours. After you've done that, you have to go to the console of Google. This is the console and um, you can see that our application is here on the top. And um, if you don't have uh, an application yet, then you should create one. You can create a new project here. And when doing that, you can start this here. After that, you have to um, find me what, what we're looking for actually is this credentials because there in there, there is the client ID and the client secret that we need to get all of working. But before you get to that, Google asks you to fill this consent screen. Um, let me see. I'll just show you how I filled this in. So there's lots of things you have to fill in, like uh, obviously it's going to be a public application. You have to fill in the name, the logo and some other things. And it also has a parameter scope here. Uh, we only need email and profile. So this is the default scope. So we don't need to anything to add anything here. After that, you can go to the credentials tab and in there you have to create credentials. In my case, they're already here, but um, here you have to create the credentials. And after you've done that, then you have to choose the client ID or auth client ID. And then uh, after taking this step, finally the client ID and the client secret are yours and you can copy them over to your application. For LinkedIn, this is a bit simpler. You have to go to this link. It's in the written tutorial. You have to create an app and then you have to fill in more or less the same information that you have entered uh, on the Google page. The one important thing here is that you have to fill in a company which is registered on LinkedIn. So if you don't have that yet, then create that company before you do anything else. After that, you can go to the apps overview, which is here. And if you just fill in, type on your app, then you can see here is all the information about the app. And here on the auth page, there is the client ID and the client secret that you need for your application. Now let's get back to our application. In order to get these social apps going, we need to add a few things to our settings. And this is explained in installation. So when we look at installation, you see that here are all the entries that we have to put in for the different social accounts. So the ones we need is Google. Here it is, Google. Copy that, go to our settings. Add it to install apps. That's the first one. And then the second one we need is LinkedIn. We need the OAuth2 variation of LinkedIn. Copy, go to and fill it in there. And that's okay. There are some more things that we need to add. So let's do that at the end. This is in the specific description of these providers. So let's go over there, look at what Google is telling us here. And we need to put these things in. Well, it says it's optional um, because it describes the scope and it certainly will have defaults, but let's put that in anyway. And same goes for LinkedIn, which has a number of settings describing the scope and exactly the fields that we want to get from LinkedIn. So we'll paste these in. These are the ones for Google and for LinkedIn. 
And then there is one extra thing that we need to do because we want to allow the user to sign up with Google and sign up with LinkedIn as well. And um, what the way Olaf does this is if it is possible to sign up the user immediately and give him access to the site, Olaf will allow that. And that is something that we really don't want because we want to make the user fill in all the required fields that we want him to fill in, him or her to fill in. So there is a parameter for that. If you go over to configuration, then the parameter is social account, where is it? Social account, auto sign up, that's it. This is um, making all of signing up the user. What will happen then is that some required field are not filled in, which will cause problems. So let's add that here. Social account auto sign up is false. Now the important bit is to add the client ID and client secret to admin. So in order to do that, we first have to start our project. And we have to go to admin, Django admin. Whoa, that was too quick. Log in with our super user account. And then we have to go to social accounts, social applications. Here we have to add the social applications that we need. Now you see that because we have already put them in installed apps, Django already knows that we have two of them. So let's start with Google. Let's name it Google. And then we fill in all of these fields. Um, I will not do that now because I don't want you to see the client ID and the secret key, obviously. So um, I'll do that offline. Don't forget to add this site to the chosen sites because otherwise it will not work. Time to add some links to our templates. Let's head over to our templates. Login template is here and we're going to add a couple of things. First of all, we add the template tag library social account because that's what we need in order to get this working. Then we add a line which says get providers, which is a template tag from all of from the social account library. And we name that social account providers. And then the last thing we add is if we have those social account providers, then please Include this. Uh, this is the provider list, which contains the list of providers, which will allow us to uh, log in via that provider. And the process here is login. We will see later on that there are other processes as well. Now, because we also want users to have the possibility to sign up with a social account provider, we do exactly the same thing with the sign up page. Add this and add that. And here we have obviously change this into sign up instead of sign in. This template provider list.html is provided by Django. So you go to by uh, sorry by all auth. So if we go to the site of all auth and we go to templates, then to social account snippets, it's in here. There you see the template. And what it actually does is it gets the providers, it loops around the providers and puts the brand name or the provider name, depending on which type of um, provider it is, uh, in a list so that we can click those. Let's create this template and put similar content like this in. Now it has to be in a directory called social account because that's where it here is here as well. So that's where all of will be looking for it. Let's create that and create the file at the same time. Social account slash, there's a name again, provider list.html and we paste in the content here it is we have the brand name and the provider name we are going to change these in the logo in the logos so by images let's do that this is the first image which is an image with if there is no image there then we will still use the brand name but we will look for an image with the static tag in the directory images with the name of the name of the brand logo.png 
with a hit, height, a width and height of 40. And we'll do that the same here at the bottom with the provider name. Um, if there is no provider name, no image, then we will still use the string. If not, then we will look for the same uh, provider name logo.png. Now, obviously, these logos are not there yet, so we have to uh, put them in. We do that in the usual way, which is that we go to static. Um, oh, we haven't got any static yet. So we have to create static, then a uh, directory under it, which is the same name as the app. So in our case, user world, and then we will have this directory images. So let's do that all at the same time. New file, create static slash user auth slash images. Now that was a file, we need a directory. Sorry for that. Directory, new directory, static slash user auth slash images. There's the directory. And then we can paste in the logos. I've prepared that already so that you can, so that you don't have to wait for me looking for them. Here are the two files and they're in there. Let's see what they look like. Well, it's obviously the logo of Google, so that should be fine. Now we have to make sure that Django knows how to find this library, which means that we will add it to the static files. There's in our settings. Let's go over there. Settings, that's not py. Look for the static files. There's, here it is. Here are the files that Django will look for static files. So we have to add our uh, directory right here. Great. Now before and we go and try this out, we still have to do one little thing, which is to give the user a possibility to connect to a social account when the user already has an account. So um, in the situation that the user has logged in with, username, with email password uh, and wants to connect later on with a social account, we can provide that, we can facilitate that as well using OAuth. So we go to our templates, we go to account and we go to update because that's where we're going to put this link and let's add that. First of all, again, social account. Then the next thing is to get providers, uh, the template tag. And then here at the bottom, we can allow the user to connect to a, an existing social account. Now, how this looks like is almost the same as with login and sign up, except that now we have a process connect and we still use the provider list. Uh, but the process now is connect, which um, does exactly what it says, and all authors taking care of all of that. Okay, time to try this out. Let's log out. Well, maybe that wasn't actually necessary, but anyway. Go to the server. And log out here. Um, accounts that logout, sign out, let's see if we can sign in, log in, yes we have the logos here, so this is good, uh, well, let's try to sign up a new user with sign up, there we are, and then we can try to do this via Google, and now we have to choose an account, and then we're taken to this sign up page. Now, this is something we obviously have to restyle still. I'm going to do that in a second. Um, you see that it's working because we have to fill in this field before we're actually logged in, and that's exactly what we wanted. So let's, me, let's make a display name and see if this is working. Yeah, now we're logged in. You see that we didn't have to fill in any emails. All of that came from Google. Now, if you want to update our account, you can see that um, you can connect your existing account to any of your social accounts. Now, since you've already had, have Google, well, let's go over there, see how it looks like. Um, we have to connect an account, to choose an account, and you can see that the account connections are here. Also, this is a template that we still have to restyle as well. Now, let's log out, and then try to log in again with, yes, we, out and then try to log in again with our Google account. This is the account. 
and we're immediately logged in. Now back to these missing templates. We saw that we had the sign up um, in case of a social account was not there. So let's look how Olaf is doing that. Um, here are the social account templates and you can see that there is a separate sign up which is in the directory social account for exactly this use. And this is the one actually that popped up just a minute ago. So let's put that in, in our directory as well. I've prepared that. You can see that all of this is well, more or less the same information here. We have separated out the fields um, with, in the same way that we've done that with login and sign up. The usual sign up with an email, a display name, a first name, a last name. We don't need any user, any passwords because that is supplied by um, by by uh, Google. And then, if we would have like to have a regular sign up, then we put a link here at the bottom, which brings us to the regular sign up. And the same if we have an account, then we just go to the account login, which is the login page. Now the other page that we saw, connections, existing connections. Let's put that in as well. This is it. And um, it basically has the same, it's in here as well. It has the same layout than on the page of all of, just the styling is a little bit different. So let's see how that looks like. Um, what shall we do? Update our account. Then we can connect using one of the existing Okay, so now you can see this is our restyles connection template. We can remove this if we want. Let's try. Oh, we have to choose it first. Remove. And then it says your account has no password set up. We can't remove this. And the reason is obvious because we haven't put in a password. If we would remove this, then we, our account would be unreachable. So that's the reason for that. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching again and see you next time.